Hello everyone, my name is Yash Agarwal and I completed my Bachelor's of Computer Application from Salation College which is in my hometown, Siliguri and currently I am pursuing Master's of Computer Application from National Institute of Technology, Raipur which I got into by clearing NIMSA 2024 examinations where I got an All India rank of 680. So today in this video, I will be sharing about my journey of NIMSA 2024 and how you can prepare the same man to get into your dream college. So let's get started. So I started my preparation for NIMSA 2024 in my second year where I started with basics of mathematics and moved on into complex topics. I studied daily 2-3 to three hours for mathematics where I divided the mathematics into 7 different components and followed them in a structured manner. First I did the set theory, then I moved on into algebra, then trigonometry, then calculus, then probability, permutations and combinations, then vectors and finally I did is the coordinate geometry. So in this structured manner, you can also follow and complete your mathematics. After completing 3-4 to four modules of mathematics, I started giving test series every weekend to an analyze the pattern of name set and to understand what are the weak points of my mathematics and worked upon them eventually. For mathematics, I followed various YouTube channels like Samir Chincholikar sir from An Academy, then I followed Physics Wala and even the YouTube channel of Acme Academy and Aspire Study for crash courses. For logical reasoning, I started working upon it 3-4 to four months before the examinations where I followed the Acme Academy YouTube channel which has all the components of logical reasoning starting from ratio and proportion, speed distance time and various other topics that are required for logical reasoning and started practicing them in the test series which helped me boost my confidence in logical reasoning. For computer awareness, I practiced the previous question papers and test series to understand the questions that come in MZ and even followed various YouTube channels like Gate Smashers for understanding K-maps, min terms and map terms which are various common topics that come in computer awareness. And finally for English, I just followed the test series which helped me understand the basics of English about nouns, pronouns and everything that are required. To. Now while giving the test series, I usually got around 350 to 450 marks and I was highly demotivated that will I get into NIT or not. Then I have my elder sister who is also an IITN who said to me that agar tumse nahi ho para, to aise jana hai, se nahi ho para. so that helped me understand that yes that there might be some complex problems that might arise while solving the papers and one must not get demotivated with this and rather work upon it and solve the problems which we know rather than focusing on the problems which we don't and did not uh, do any silly mistake or did not panic at that moment I would like to say that you can also crack your dream college. It is just that you have to be consistent enough and you should not panic like I am not getting marks in test series or not, not able to solve this problem. It will eventually happen once you start practicing enough. A few things that I would like to say that you should give regular test series. You must be very consistent enough while you are doing mathematics and logical reasoning. And while giving the examinations, you should never panic and do as many questions as possible. Like you should not go for Tukka or Fluke. Just do whatever you know and you will even get a good marks. It is not important that you need to get 500 plus marks to get into NIT. I got around 387 and my rank was 680 and I got into NIT right now. So it just depends upon the different level of the question paper. And I hope you will also crack your examinations. All the best and this is all about today's video. I hope you gained some knowledge about my experience from NIMSA 2024 and with your dream college in the same way. Just you have to be very consistent enough. So see you in the next video. Till then, take care. And if you have any doubts, you can ask me in the comment section.